Hello and welcome to this tutorial on uh, uh, AC circuit analysis on LD spikes. So today we are uh, we are going to see how we can perform transient analysis of uh, given circuits on LD spikes. So uh, first of all, we'll add a new schematic. So just press on this new schematic button or go to File tab and press New Schematic here. So since I've already pressed on the new schematic option and so now we can build our circuit. So this uh, we select inductor from this tools bar. Um, for those of you who have, who, don't, who have not gone through my previous tutorial, uh, please go through my previous tutorial where I've explained how you can add, add various components from this tools bar and, uh, and, and, and the, the components which are not present in this tools bar can go to this components library and add those components. So since in this particular tutorial we only need tutorial, we only need resistors, capacitors and inductors. So we'll stick to the tools bar. Um, so now we are going to add this resistor. So we go to the resistor option. So now we have added inductor, resistor, capacitor and resistor. So we need to connect these two. I've uh, explained uh, this wire, this wire option in previous uh, tutorial as well. You can also see how I'm just uh, uh, once you click on this uh, wire button, you you will see your cursor becoming this uh, this intersection between two horizontal and vertical lines. So uh, so you just move your cursor to the point where you want to add a joint or uh, want to connect to the terminal as I've just, I'm just doing and then. Uh, click uh, left click and then you will see uh, wire connecting with other terminal or you adding a joint right I'm just doing it very quickly if you uh, struggling to understand what I'm doing just go to my previous tutorial you will see um, how to wire how to connect wire right so um, now again Going to add this uh, round here, <clears throat> right? So, so this is our circuit. Um, so, in this particular circuit, we are not going to use any source. Uh, so, so, in, so we are assuming that this volt, this uh, capacitor is charged, and and it has some voltage uh, um, uh, stored in it, and and this inductor has some current stored in it. So, let's add this initial condition. So, in order to add an initial condition to uh, your circuit you just need to click on this dot op button and you should just write dot i e capital i c which means initial condition this is the syntax and then you write current through inductor so this inductor name is l1 right so you write i bracket l1 bracket end is equal to say um, 20 milli, right? And so 20 milli amperes, right? So you don't write the unit of current here. It is already understood that unit of current in LD spice is already understood to be amperes, right? And similarly, now you need to write by after space, you need to write voltage across this capacitor. So this capacitor, as you know, is um, yeah, is named C1. So you can write off. One right and it right to be 12, right? So, this is the initial condition. And you just once you click OK, you will see this window and you go to any uh, anywhere you want to paste this initial condition and just uh, left click. You will see this initial condition pasted on your circuit. You can also um, add a label here. Uh, so as we, we name our nodes in in, in in theoretically in our when we solve circuits we can do the same in on LT spice we just say this node is v1 click ok and this bring this uh, symbol here and now you have named this particular node v1 right so you just go here on this label net click here write the name so let me do it again for you to understand what I have just did, I just need to just um, put 
okay i think i have done it so let's not over complicate it uh you can maybe go back and write even here because voltage across uh this capacitor is voltage on this right so you can write v of v1 or v of c1 whatever you would prefer right so this is it now you just you run it uh and you click this run button and you see this transient since we are interested in transient response you just uh, specify the time you want to see the transient response so we say we want to see what how this circuit is doing in first 10 milli seconds and click ok and it says that, uh, it can't find definition of model r so i have not specified any value to r i guess so i need to specify oh Right, so I have not specified any values to each, any of these components, which is a mistake. So I need, let's say, I need to specify values. Again, you can go in my previous tutorial and see how how to specify values. You can just uh, right click on this component um, and see this window, and you just uh, write say 20 milli, and you again right click on this capacitor, and you will see this window, and just write. 0.3 micro farad um, and in this case let's say it's 100 ohm right okay you just uh, run again now you see uh, this this graphical user interface where you can see the transient response so you just in order to see this transient response you just need to right click on this uh, graphical user interface you can you can maximize it is it as well by just double clicking on the on the top um, so now right click click uh, select the add trace option and now from here you select this v of v1 the, the voltage across the uh, node v1 right and as soon as you click ok you will see this plot of the voltage uh, across capacitor right so if you remember this even is the node um, uh, uh, that on 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 uh, this capacitor. So voltage across V1 would be the volt, uh, voltage on V1 would be the voltage across the capacitor, right? So V of V1 and V of C1 would be same. And now, if you need to see another quantity, just again go to the add trace. Just right click, right click on this uh, area, and go to add trace. And now you need to just select this current through conductor L1 and press OK. And you will see this quantity now, this, this other quantity, which is in blue. Uh, so you have you have added two traces, V of V1 and I of L1, right? So you can change uh, these quantities as well. You just right click on this uh, trace, you go to this trace and just right click on it. You will see this window now. This is expression editor. Now in this expression editor, you can um, you can amplify this particular uh, curve by just multiplying it with any value, any constant. So, say, let's say I'm multiplying it with 10. So, this now, as you can see, is now multiplied. This V of V1 is now multiplied by 10, right? And uh, is it multiplied by 10? I think it is. Okay, and then now you go to this trace and now right click here again and you will see this window again now let's see if you want to divide it by 2 so you right divide it by 2 here and you will see this uh, this blue quantity changing and this is now half of the current through inductor and this is 10 times the voltage across the capacitor right so the the, the, the green uh, curve shows how the capacitor is discharging and the blue line shows how the current through inductor is changing eventually both these things uh, become zero as you can see this is the uh, this is where you see the uh, uh, the voltage how the voltage is changing so this is these are the values for voltage as you can see the green line is originally the voltage was 120 volt and then it because it's now multiplied by 10 so it, originally it was 12 and multiplied by 10 means uh, 120 volts and now it just dips to minus 30 volt and then it eventually it becomes zero and similarly you can see the current here on this uh, side 